Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. What do we have for Libra for the month of September? Please give me one card. Ooh. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you need to stay optimistic. You have to have faith. So this will be a month of, you know, thinking positive. You're going to need to think positive. What do we have for Libra? These cards are hard to shuffle. I don't like bags. I like to see what falls out. One more card, please. Are you ready for this, Libra? Reconciliation. Pineapple. <laughs> but the main word is reconciliation. So there's a reconciliation with somebody that you have parted ways with. And it's interesting because when I was shuffling, I saw the Three of Cups reversed. That is friends parting ways or lovers or whatever it is. There's going to be a reconciliation this month between you and somebody that you have separated with. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member. Getting together with friends. Fan. Romance. Celebration. Party. This is great. Right? You're going to be, you're, it looks like you're going to be, it's going to be a great month. looks like it's going to be great so far. I mean, we haven't got the other cards yet. And, you know, I don't do, I do reversals. So, <laughs> we're going to see what comes up. But, it looks really good. It looks as though you're going to be having a good month with friends. And you're going to be having fun. And, it looks good. It does. For some of those of you that are born in September, happy birthday. What do we have for Libra? King of Wands reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Oh, Two of Cups reversed. Oh, so yeah, there's been some sort of separation. Probably made you upset, made you angry. Um... I do, I mean, these cards, they speak for themselves. They do. I mean, these cards speak for themselves. There's definitely been a separation, a loss, where, you know, uh, there's probably been some bitterness. Maybe it was a bitter loss of some sort. I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with a father. This could be a father figure. could be a husband. could be an ex. It looks like it's a masculine energy. You know, and, and I have to remind you that sometimes... Uh, when you see this reconciliation, you could be dealing with somebody in your life that is reconciling with another person. may not be you, okay? It could be somebody that you're dealing with. This King of Wands in reverse is somebody that is unreasonable. This is an unreasonable, self-centered, egotistical individual, okay? Um, it could be losing their energy. There could be a lack of energy, a lack of desire, lack of confidence. Uh, uh, this is typically not good news. I, I'm being honest with you here. 
okay? The Page of Swords reversed is typically not good news, okay? This is a messenger that is bringing you news that may make you feel conflicted, okay? Could be a partner that deserted you, okay? Maybe it's a partner that deserted you that was self-centered and unreasonable and egotistical and they've been watching you and, you know, this could go so many ways, but it feels like... Uh, this is not this is a message coming that makes you feel it looks like upset, you know, conflicted. Let's see. Nine of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is is is, is a death of a situation. Okay, it is. If you take a look at the card, it's, it's a death. Okay, it's a death of a situation. It's the end. It's the end of suffering. Okay, it's it's reached the point of it's over. The suffering is over. Okay, um, the nine of wands reversed is extremely challenging. Okay, this is being distrustful. A need to be gentle. You may you may have your guard up. You may when when you receive this message, you may feel wounded. You've been wounded, right? You've been wounded, angry. There could be some hard feelings here. You may have some hard feelings with somebody that uh, caused you a lot of pain and suffering. But I feel like this pain and suffering is is just about to end. Okay, somebody's pain and suffering is ending because this is the end of suffering. Uh, this is giving up. Okay, this is giving up. It's like surrendering. You may need to let your guard down. You you probably won't. You may not believe it. This may be disbelief. Um, oh my God. Five of Swords. Justice reversed. Oh boy. Now this isn't fair. This is not fair. This is an injustice. This is uh, something not going the way that you had hoped. Um, this is disbelief. It is disbelief. I feel like, um, I mean, with that Five of Swords, this is betrayal of some sort. Um, walking away. Somebody is walking away from somebody. This is extremely fearful. You may be receiving a message from somebody or something that really puts you on the defensive because defensiveness is in both of these cards. Extreme defensiveness. This is uh, placing blame. You know, somebody may be placing blame on you or you may be placing blame. I mean, this is your card. This is um, an imbalance as well. Things being unbalanced. An unbalanced partnership. Um, unequal. This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't fair. Not happy with the outcome. I think that something, and this is for September. Now, the Five of Swords is a battle of some sort. This is a surrender as well, and I believe I said it with this card. This is this is a need to let go and let God. Something is happening very prominent this month in which, you know, it's non-negotiable. There's nothing you can do to change the outcome. The outcome is what it is, which is interesting because these are all so positive. Like, it's interesting that I said it could be somebody that you are dealing with that is having a reconciliation with somebody. I don't ever say that. I'm wondering, I mean, this is this is an enemy. It is. The Page of Swords Reverse is an enemy that doesn't want to take responsibility. And this is don't want to take responsibility. Doesn't want to accept responsibility. Doesn't want to believe. I think that there's going to be a separation in which it's 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 unbelievable. Um you know, 
obstacle being removed that breaks you free. You're going to be broken free from a situation that was really challenging for you. This was a very challenging situation that really hurt you. It hurt you very, 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 very badly. I think that um, you're going to be hurt. You're going to be feeling. You're going to be feeling um, conflicted over this separation. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. And I think those words are going to come out of your mouth because of that justice reversed. Um, there's some sort of dishonesty here. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. And the Two of Cups reversed is disharmony. It's a disconnection. And it's an imbalance. And then with the Justice reversed, that's an imbalance. Same thing. Kind of the same thing. So we have a really big imbalance here where there's a lot of... Um, it looks like there's been a lot of fighting. It's been a big challenge. But the challenge is going to end, okay? It's the end of this battle. It is because you're going to be broken free. This is freedom. It is freedom, okay? There's been some, some sort of lies. There has been some lies. I think you're dealing with an individual that um, is very argumentative. And you may be caught off guard. I think you are going to be caught off guard. I think you're going to be caught off guard and, and you're going to be feeling... Um, upset. Something is going to make you upset. Um, but whatever this is, you're going to be broken free from a situation. Um, something comes to an end. Somebody may do something. Uh, I don't know. It's a big fight. This is a fight. <laughs> Completely unaware. The high priestess reverse. That's unaware. There's also uh, not following intuition and uh, something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. It's it's time. The time of observation is over. It's time. Okay. Um, secrets are about to be revealed. Somebody's been ignoring their intuition, ignoring their self, uh, lacking knowledge, but thinking they know it all. This person thinks they know it all, but they don't know it all. Wow, the sudden departure of some sort. That is definitely uh, two of wands reverse. It's like spur of the moment. Spur of the moment decision. Somebody is making a spur, it, spur of the moment decision. You're going to be caught off guard. You are going to be caught off guard by some information that you receive. I think this has to do with an individual that um, has hurt you. This person has hurt you in some way because of that nine of wands. Whoever this person is. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mother, father. Um... Doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be anybody. I think you've been in conflict with somebody that has been lying and causing you a lot of problems. They have. They've been putting you on eggshells. This person has. They've been belittling you, betraying you, hurting you in some way. They've been lying. Okay, we have lies a couple of times, but these lies, whatever they've been lying about, the truth is going to come out. Something is coming to an end. Mm. Could be the end of the battle, the end of the fight, because this is an ending and this is a fight. The end of fighting. It, you, the fight could be coming to an end. The obstacle of fear is being removed, the obstacle of mental imbalance. And this is a mental imbalance. Somebody's, I don't know if they're getting medication or what. And this is an imbalance as well. So we have somebody here that definitely, and they're not very spiritual. There's some sort of um, imbalance here with an individual that does have a very big ego because we have ego here and ego here. This is a sudden 
decision. It's very, very spur of the moment. This is some sort of anti-climax or a delay or canceled. Uh, there's been some sort of delay or there is a delay in getting justice, getting what you deserve. Ah, the Knight of Cups is emotional support. I think it's going to be an intense time. I think it's going to be a very emotional time for you. I think that you are going to need emotional support and you are going to have some emotional support around you. You have somebody here who loves you and you're they're going to be expressing their feelings to you in a love in a loving way. They're going to be supporting you emotionally. We do have a relationship that is going to grow, okay? This is relationship growth. After a fight, after some sort of separation, this separation actually brings relationship growth. Do you know what I'm saying? This is a need for compassion. Somebody's maybe extending their, you know, love towards you or, you know, something like that. Somebody loves you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Whew. We got right, right underneath the justice card, the ace of swords. The ace of swords reversed is lies. It is. It is lies. So this is, this is, uh dishonesty you are dealing with somebody that is very this is this is not the truth you may be saying this isn't true this isn't true this isn't true i can't believe this is true this isn't true and this is i think it's going to be an emotional month it's disbelief i think i said that at the beginning didn't i anyhow lack of truth not wanting to see the truth um hmm this Ace of Swords reversed is, uh, somebody could be cutting communication, even blocking communication. Communication could become blocked with somebody, that a partner that you have been dealing with. And like I said, a partner can be a sibling, it can be a mother, it can be a father, it can be a lover, it can be anybody. Somebody, been, somebody that you are in some sort of relationship with is going to be, you're going to be separated from this person. Okay, you're going to be separated from this person. It's going to happen very, very, very suddenly, and it's going to be emotional. You may be left on your own, okay? You may be, you may be left to, you know, go your own way or something like that. Ah, uh, jeez. This Ace of Swords reversed is uh, a loss of power. No communication. This isn't fair. This isn't fair underneath with that justice reversed. This is, this is all of a sudden... It is. King, King of Swords. That is a need to observe and uh, keep a cool head. You're going to need to keep a cool head. Some of you, this is a father figure that we're talking about. But this could also be your energy. You're going to need to judge the situation based on, you know, the truth that you're going to get. I do believe that um, you're going to get some challenging information this month. You are. You're going to get some challenging information that probably uh, is hard to hear. Take a look at that face. You know, this is difficult information. You are going to receive some sort, and that's the sort of truth in his hand. You are going to receive some information that really, I feel like it makes you emotional, extremely emotional. I think it's intense. It is. And you're going to need some tender love and care. I think you're going to need some tender love and care when you receive this information. Um, whatever this information does, it does break you free from something that has confined you. Because this is confinement and this is breaking free. So this is going to, it's going to break you free completely. You are going to be free. You're going to be free now. Okay. You're going to be free to uh, do whatever you want. But I think that that freedom, you know, isn't, 
it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna be free but you're also gonna have hard feelings and you're gonna be angry this is angry I think that you're gonna be angry with whatever this is that happens I think it's gonna hurt okay I do think it's gonna hurt um, and you're probably gonna say why you're probably gonna say I, I can't you know this isn't right this isn't right you know that's what I that's what I keep healing hearing this isn't right We have an unexpected conflict here with the Page of Swords reversed and the Five of Swords right underneath it. Hangman reversed. Now the Hangman reversed is refusing to go in and struggling to let go. It is about fighting. This is somebody that won't change. Hanging on to the bitter end. And it's almost like they're going to be cut free. You are going to be cut free from something. Or somebody that is that will not change. This is somebody that is very, very stubborn. This is a know-it-all. This is a, and it, I mean, this could even be your energy. You take it however it is. The hangman reversed is somebody that is egotistical. That will not change ever. Okay, doesn't need to change. They're stuck in their ways. This is like a martyr. And a martyr is somebody that will die with their beliefs because of their stubbornness, because of their ego, just, you know, because of, you know, that, that that's what they believe in. And this is very solitary. This is alone. So there's a need to look at things from a new perspective. There is. Everything happens for a reason. And I think that this is the, this is the meaning of this reading. Something very prominent is going to happen. There's going to be a separation that probably is happening in which you need to change, but there's refusal to change. It's interesting. It's hard to explain. This is breaking free from something that has confined you, that you have been refusing to accept. Okay? This is the end of suffering. We have somebody here, I don't know who it is, and this won't be for everybody. We have somebody here who has been choosing to be alone. The high priestess in reverse is a person that is has chosen, and this one is too, to be alone. Instead of getting into a relationship, waiting for somebody that... Isn't coming. And maybe why that's why this reconciliation card is here. Because that's what this is about. We have somebody here that wants a reconciliation, but I don't see it happening. And that's why this card came out. Because that is what you are hoping for. This is about accepting and allowing. Temperance is about, comes after the death card. You have to accept and allow this change that has happened. This is, a, this is about learning a lesson. Everything happens for a reason. This is a card of reason. This is a card of purpose. It's time for a change. This is about harmony and peace and being in the flow and going with the flow and letting whatever is meant to be meant go happen you're going to be experiencing or or you have experienced i think it's something like a death a death of a situation this death 
whether whatever kind of death it is to you, needs to be accepted. And it's time for you to evolve. You have something better. This is finding the self-discipline to change. So I feel as though that's what this month is about. It's about finding the discipline to change instead of holding on and wasting your time. You're going to be receiving some sort of news about somebody that you have separated with that, you know, I feel they've moved on. And it's a, it's an op. Now you have an op. Now that you are free, you have an opportunity for love, real love. You're getting something better. Anyhow, this month is definitely a month of change for you. You are going to be receiving news that, you know, you may be pointing fingers. You may be pointing fingers. You may be placing blame. You may be, you may get very upset. I'm just being honest with you. But this, uh, that whatever is happening is breaking you free from something completely. This is your chance to live. You do have a new romance here. You do. I think that you will have an opportunity to get with, together with your friends and go out and have some fun. But this right here is the problem. And that's what I got to say. Good luck.